Greetings folks, in this video I'm going to be having a look at the HGLRC Gemini Express LRS receiver, 2.4 gigahertz. It is a Gemini receiver which means that it works with uh, Gemini style transmitters or transmitter modules like this uh, Beta FPV Super G module. Uh, so Gemini, we'll have a little bit of a refresher about Gemini, Gemini uh, how Gemini works, but uh, basically uh, it is uh, two signals slightly separated. In the 2.4 gigahertz modules, it is uh, 40 megahertz separated, and in the 915 megahertz modules, it is uh, 10 megahertz separated. So basically two signals, slight separation for extra signal resilience and redundancy. In the packet we get uh, the little receiver itself in there and some heat shrink. Two antennas of different lengths, I like this actually, so that you can uh, position them in your plane without having to have the receiver sort of hanging in the middle of the plane, middle of the fuselage. Two cables, uh, connectors, both ends, connectors one end, uh, some stickers. We actually get a, a manual QR code, which I have misplaced. Let's have a, a closer look here heat shrink and the little receiver as you can see there are two complete receiver lines there connector or solder pads whichever you prefer which is a very nice touch Banggood sent this to me for the review so let's have a look at the Banggood website at the moment $26.39 but that price may well change at the time that you're looking at it you get the 2.4 gigahertz and 915 megahertz varieties and uh, let's go over to the HGLRC website and uh, we'll get some more information there. You can see the different sized antennas, bigger ones for the 915, smaller ones for the 2.4. Gemini dual communication link. I'll talk a little bit more detail about that in a minute, uh, but you can see close up of the two separate receiver lines there does have a temperature compensated crystal oscillator which the the uh, better express LRS 2.4 gigahertz receivers do have that to keep the um, frequency more stable with different temperatures does come with the rainbow color gradient LEDs anyway the the rainbow LED will eventually when it's bound tell you which uh, packet rate you're on uh, I'm on usually 100 hertz uh, and that will be a sort of a, a bluey purpley color I guess so I'll keep an eye out for that when we bind it up. The LEDs flash green and orange when you're in Wi-Fi mode. Uh, red flash if the transmitter isn't turned on. Double orange flash when it's in binding mode. Triple orange flash for a model mismatch. And when it's steady on in the relevant color for your packet rate it is connected. We have the usual UART connections RXTX 5 volts and ground both wiring diagram there specs is what I'm looking for ESP32 chip uh, and two SX1218 RF chips and the crystal uh, temperature compensated crystal oscillator uh, telemetry power two times 100 milliwatts that's very decent uh, input voltage 3.6 to 5.5 and uh, there are the dimensions there so let's have a quick look at what Gemini is all about as I was saying, it's a, a dual channel RF system and you need a Gemini, a dual Ge Gemini transmitter module which uh, transmits the two signals simultaneously and uh, Gemini receivers can take advantage of those two slightly separated signals uh, giving better link quality. And just a quick look at the manual just because we can uh, and yeah, it's all that same sort of information basically. Binding information, reminding you to make sure the firmware versions are consistent or they match. Uh, the, the factory version is 3.3 without a passphrase or password, so I can put my own passphrase on there for uh, instant binding. Or you can do the powering on and off three times quickly to put it into bind mode. Now it's best to go over to the Express LRS configurator and make sure the firmware target is included. HGLRC 2.4 gigahertz is the device cat category and the actual receiver there is the Gemini one there. So the firmware is supported, the firmware target is provided by the Express LRS configurator. 
um, what I would do now, put it into Wi-Fi mode. Not because we're going to connect via Wi-Fi, but we're just going to build the firmware file and have it ready for flashing later on. All right, so soldered it up. Uh, I've decided to use the solder pads rather than the connector. Just suits my setups better. Plugged it into a flight control board. I'll power up the flight control board. I have already put a passphrase onto the receiver, so that's going to connect pretty quickly. There we go. Connected. We've got that bluey purpley LED, which shows that I'm on 100 hertz packet rate. Uh, and now what I will do is... So let's have a look at the iNav configurator. So now we can show on the configurator that it is actually connected and we have receiver action. So there is the HGLRC 2.4 gigahertz Express LRS Gemini mode receiver. Dual receiver redundancy using Gemini mode, as long as you have a Gemini mode transmitter, of course. Uh, so yeah, very nice. That will be a, a very good long range receiver with superior link quality. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.